So maybe we're a shadow of our actual selves. Maybe? I don't know, I'm just trying to think like a Kodaka game. Um, are you okay? <clears throat> it's just a drunk. There wasn't some terrible accident. Too bad. Damn. It's okay, I'm sure we'll see plenty of dead bodies down the line, Shinigami. Alright, Kanai Station Square, so we can only go that one way, apparently. This is sold out. We can't go in here. Where could it be? Okay. Come on. Just because you're a sad little errand boy doesn't mean you can drink on the job. <laughs> As if I'd do that. I would. Are you kidding me? Would you not? I want to check in here really bad. Abandoned building rooftop. So that's where I met with Yako earlier. This is. I've never seen this design before. I have no idea which country it's from. Hmm? How would you know when you have amnesia? Don't tell me you've forgotten that too. Oh yeah, that's right. Master doesn't have a single care in the world. Alright, Shinigami, calm down. I'm exploring. I'm talking to people. Oh, hey, it's the meat bun shop. Huh? What an indescribable smell. Are you gonna eat one? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm a little hungry, so I wouldn't mind eating. Here you go. Hmm. Whoa, what a sensual smell. Maybe I should get one, too. Huh? Don't describe it like that. Anyway, it's not like you can eat, right? Say. What do you think? Any good? Hmm. hmm, how to describe it? It was... unique. Not bad, but... That's your reaction after eating a super popular meat bun? Your palate might need some work, Master. Huh? Really? I know I suck at cooking, but... Uh, and here I was expecting a review befitting a gourmet. How foolish I was. What kind of expectation is that? Okay, so we can't go in there. This is blocked off. Can't go in there. Nothing over here. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. What's this? Huh? What's this? A meat bun flavored soda? Who the heck would buy this? But it's completely sold out. Maybe it's a really popular drink after all. Mmm, one delicious. What are you eating? Meat buns, man, meat buns. Are you new to Kanai Ward or something? You say Kanai Ward, most people hear meat buns. But of all the districts, in Kanai Ward, Kamasaki's meat buns are easily the juiciest and the best. I see. Wow, so they're really delicious, huh? Don't look at me with those hungry eyes. These buns aren't for sharing. I'll be the judge of that. I have a lot of buns on my radar, man. Don't tempt me. Oh, can we? No, we can't. It'd be cool if we could. There's all sorts of back streets and shit. Wow, this is awesome. So cool to see. This is fucking neat. Can we go up top? We can. Is there anything to check out up here as well? Oh, there's plenty of stuff. Okay, this is a dead end, so this is nothing. I think I'm gonna go to the hotel here soon, but I just want to check out the district a little more, so forgive me for this. Okay, that guy's just saying he has good stuff, but he's not showing me any of the good stuff he has on offer. The rain never ends. Are you lost? I might be. I think she was having a phone conversation though. There's the bridge that goes to the other side of the district. Okay. 
Wait, hold on. I can talk to you. I think this every time I come here, but this place could certainly use a little more discipline, could it not? That's true. Yeah, Kamasaki District is a bit disorderly. The peacekeepers should clean the place out. The people here don't contribute anything to Kanai Ward, after all. Say! Wasn't that wholesome, Master? What was wholesome about that? Okay. So let's head back down here to the main street, and we'll go to the, uh, we'll go to the hotel. I need to check the map first, though, to find it. So that goes to the square, so I'm guessing I have to go back over that way. Hold on, what was that yellow icon there? What is that? Main story objective. But how do I get there, though? I don't know. Oh, this is the hotel. Nice. Accidental. A hotel located in Kamasaki District. Since Kanai Ward's isolation from the world three years ago, the number of guests has dramatically decreased. Crime generally isn't bad here. Okay. Alright. Hey, it's that dude again. Okay, so I'm guessing he just finds it comfy to be in places like that. That's weird. Pardon me. You're not from Kanai Ward, are you? No. How I'm could not. you tell? How did you know? I do work at a hotel, after all. I can tell from how a guest behaves. I just I walked in. Circumstances, but it's rare to have guests from outside Kanai Ward. Patronage has plunged since Kanai Ward secluded itself from the world three years ago. Frankly, we've had little to do. <sighs> it's not as if we can just relocate somewhere else. I wonder how long this will go on for. Ah, my apologies. I shouldn't complain in front of a guest. Why did it's Kanai okay, Ward dude. You're a bellhop. It's fine. It comes with the territory. Does it have to do with Kanai Ward's I permit ultimate it. secret? Hey, let's ask him about it. Yeah, I'm actually curious about that now that Shinigami mentions it. So, if Kanai Ward was deliberately split off from the rest of the world, what's the deal with that? Um, why, why? did Kanai Ward close itself off from the world? It was the will of Amaterasu Corporation. There's of no course. Other reason. It seems we common folk don't have a right to know. I don't understand why the unified government permitted it. So yeah, they're definitely under the oppression of the Amaterasu Corporation, for absolute uh, sure. I mean, I have no complaints about Amaterasu. Amaterasu Corporation subsidizes the hotel, so besides the boredom from all our free time, we have no complaints. Sounds like Amaterasu Corp unilaterally closed the borders. Yeah. If that's the case, they've got huge political power. No shit, especially if the fucking government agreed to it. That's some nice information you got. Another yes, it is. Towards solving Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I don't know about that. So I've actually really come around to Yuma's <laughs> voice actor. So I didn't know how I felt about it at first, but I'm definitely starting to like it quite a bit. And I think his name is Bryce or something. If you look closely at this flower, you can tell it's synthetic. The constant rain keeps sunlight out, so growing real flowers is a no-go, right? That's kind of bleak. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna talk to this dude in a minute. Oh, never mind. I guess we'll talk to him what, now. Vivia? Yo, what's oh. up, dude? Yuma. Good morning. Good morning. He has such a sexy, sleepy what voice. What are you doing here? I love it. Huh? I'm reading a book. I need to know who his voice actor is. It's like ASMR tier. It the actually story is. I'm reading is about a boy building a sandcastle on a lake shore with a girl he just met. Vivia Twilight could literally just be like my drift Many off to sleep pass, voice. And the sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. The protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. He believes the girl has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. I think it's more of a symbolic thing. So he stays on lookout at night on the lake. In 
just as he thought. The girl appears, as expected. She destroys the sandcastle and returns home. The protagonist wonders, why she do such a thing? Yuma, what do you believe her motive is? Uh-huh. Uh... Maybe she likes the protagonist. I see. If she continues to destroy the sandcastle, the protagonist will return to rebuild it, and they can stay together. As long as they continue to build the sandcastle, it's rather clumsy, but quite a laudable effort by the girl. She could just ask him to come again tomorrow instead. That solution is quite romantic. It's very like you to say that, Yuma. Hmm. So what's the real reason? The real reason? It doesn't say anything about that. You must imagine the girl's reason. So it's open to interpretation. That's what stories are all about. That's what I thought. I thought it'd be something you this question. The protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl. But he loses sight of her in the darkness. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. And there, at the lake, the protagonist notices something. The sight of the girl facing away from him, disappearing into the lake. Huh? The protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. Almost like a long forgotten memory. He checks old newspapers and finds a picture of her. In the photo, she looks like she's smiling directly at him. Isn't it beautiful? That's a really good story. Huh. This guy probably has no friends. By I like way, him. Fuck off, Shinigami. Shiago asked for you at the office. Oh. Is it that time already? Tell the chief I'll be there. I All love right. Vivia, dude. He's right up there with Halara. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look Maybe Vivia's the best waifu. Oh, also, Maybe Halara's just a backup runner-up squeeze, as well as Shinigami. Maybe Vivia's the real goal. Maybe the restaurant? I should still be eating breakfast right now. He reminds me of Gara, like Gara's delivery in uh, Naruto Shippuden. The restaurant, got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I wanna die someday. I love Vivia, dude. Vivia's too good. Come on, over there, master. He's so fucking pure. Are they gambling again? Hey, rookie. What's up? You here for breakfast, too? Good morning, Yuma. Oh, you remembered my name, so I guess you don't have amnesia. Good morning. You fucking um, faker. You liar. You fraud. Fubuki Fraudfur is what your name should be, you fucking absolute fraud. Huh? Are we late? I'm Impossible. sorry, that was uncalled for. As if I would permit time to ever overtake me. My vision is quite sharp, you know. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's not Maybe it has something to do late. with her forte. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is. Listen, rookie. I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. Something like that, yeah. But you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. Everyone besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? It would, actually. Now that you mention it, yes. Yeah, exactly. It'd be way more efficient for gatherings. Don't be convinced so easily! Although, if your whole goal is to stay under the radar, then his method to gathering makes a lot more sense. Anyway, you should bring the chief here. In no way, for all we know, the peacekeepers could be around. Exactly. The meeting may even be about planning out operations, so it's better to have it at the office. I agree exactly with you. my summation as well. What, you of all people are saying that now? Oh jeez, fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post-meal soda. I will also be there after breakfast. Just have your fucking soda at the office. I have to chew well to promote good digestion. Have so your cake and eat it time. too. Got it. 
Yeah, that's By the weird. Way, is right. Holara here with you? Yeah, uh, I doubt anyone in the world can hang out with that one. Oh, you'd be fucking surprised. I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast, but the room was already empty. I'm sure Halara's around somewhere. Probably hustling kids out of their money. Looks like we have legwork to do. I love Let's her. Search around some more. She is the goal. She is the goal. I love her. I must swoon her. She will be mine. Cutscene. Okay. Why? Yuma, I've got a favor to ask you. Huh? A favor? What is it? Yeah. There's a book I really want to read, but I haven't been able to find a copy. It's called The Crow and the Dove, Survival of the Fittest and World Salvation. <sighs> Th that's one heck of a title. Right. It's the tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its existence. In the end, the two turn the world into a wasteland. Sh sure. <sighs> Doesn't that sound a bit dull? <laughs> y you think so? Hey. If you happen to find the book, I was hoping you'd bring it to me. Because? As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Uh... You sure don't look it. Mm. Well, look around for it if you're so inclined. Uh... I'll just take it easy and wait here. Aww. His blatant laziness is almost refreshing. <sighs> Alright. It's a detective's responsibility to help those in need. You might see people in need of help while you're moving around the town. You can receive a request by talking to them. So I'm guessing this yields me points. Well, might as well give it a go. Take on a request that detective way. Detective points can be earned by solving them. Requests can only be accepted and fulfilled in the chapter that they appear. Come on, pay attention. If you progress through the chapter without completing a request, it'll stay unsolved. If you progress through the chapter without accepting a request, it'll disappear, so be careful. Are you, gonna remember all of this? you can retry unsolved requests if you play the chapter again. I see, okay. So we don't have to worry about missing them, but it's better to take them when they're available. So I'm gonna be sure to do every single fucking one. Or at least make an effort to. So you have my promise on that. Oh, I thought her hair was also pink. She kinda reminds me of, uh, the lady from Demon Slayer. Uh, the one that ran away from Muzan. I forgot what her name is. That person is an acquaintance of yours, yes? He's, how to put this, uh, an unusual sort. <laughs> Unusually hot, maybe. Welcome to the Sun and Moon Hotel. Unless you present your identification, I cannot accept your message. Okay. Wait, so I have to go find Holera then. So how do I find Holera? Do I go up the elevator? This doesn't seem like, yeah, something that's interactable, so... Where do I meet Holera then? Where would she be? I have to go find this book for... Vivia. But I don't know where I would find it. Sorry, forgive me for that. Alright, so let's go back out into the streets of the Kamasaki district. Maybe we can find a couple of those requests to tackle real quick. Not this way. Not this way, okay. Maybe check the map then. Oh wait, the glowing green marker is a request, is it not? Yes, it is. Hey kid, could you spare a sec? What's the matter? Some guy was trying to push this weird book on me. I told him no, but he was so pushy. I don't know if he has a quota or what, but he was a real persistent sort. I'm getting annoyed just thinking about it. 
It had a really long name, too. Crow something something. Who even reads that stuff? Maybe... Could that be the book Vivia's looking for? Um... Um, where did you run into that person? Huh? Well, if you take the street toward Ginma District... ...and turn left at the bar, you'll find him. Better stay away, though. He was really persistent. I see. I see. Thank you for the advice. Okay, so let's head over there immediately. Because I will forget if I don't do this right now. Although, hold on. Master? Are you old enough to drink? Huh? Good question. I don't have any real desire to drink, though. Shit, couldn't be me. Oh. No, he's just holding a beer. My bad. He just like me for real. Who the fuck are you? Oh, these guys are just really shady. Okay. So he said come over here and look for a guy trying to push a book on people, but... Wait, he said take a left at the bar, did he not? And that was a left at the bar, wasn't it? So what am I missing here? There must be something. Maybe he meant further down the street. That's possible. I've already ran into this guy before. That was the guy pushing goods earlier, but he wouldn't tell me what he was selling. Maybe down here. No, because this goes back into the sewer system. You, a customer. Huh? Huh? Better get out of here, Master. He's definitely selling something dangerous. <laughs> if you're not buying, scram. S sorry. Fair enough. Okay. Hey. There are pipes everywhere you look in this city. I'm sure. I guess all these pipes are necessary given how much drainage is needed for the endless rain. See, that was what I thought as well. There's nothing in here, okay. Nothing there either. So the thing is, is I don't want to get too sidetracked from that objective that I undertook, but... The guy said take a left, and I took a left, and it didn't lead me anywhere, so I'm curious. So the green marker is back that way, so I'm gonna head back in that direction and see if I can reposition myself. Hold on. This car has a cool vintage thing going on. Wish I could take it for a spin. I see. You can float and you still want to drive? I'd rather try floating, personally. <laughs> you can float all you want after you die and become a ghost. That's a one-way street, though. Huh? I'll pass. I don't know, dude. I think being a ghost would be kind of cool. Oh no, you're going into the men's room with poor defenseless little me right here? <sighs> we can't go in because it's being cleaned anyway. God, Shinigami's a freak, dude. Oh, we gotta rank up, see? Examining men's bathroom stalls did us some good. Say. Since we're here, why not pick up a new pair of kicks? No. The boots that the World Detective Organization provided are fairly comfortable. I'll stick with them. Where's this guy trying to push this fucking book? <laughs> uh, um. hmm. He's just glaring at us. Let's not talk to this guy. R right. He seems like a dick anyway. Fuck him. Wait, I came up here before, didn't I? Because this is the guy with the same shop. So if the guy's just up here around the corner, he said take a left at the bar. This is the bar, is it not? This is the bar, so if I take a left, this is the only way to go. This is Kamasaki. It's a filthy town and filled with people from the basements to the rafters. Uh... I've heard that it always rains here. Is that true? Yeah, I can't remember when it started, but it hasn't stopped a day since. That goes for all of Kanai Ward. Come on. What a dank and gloomy town. So, buddy, what's that information worth to you? Huh? 
What? Oh, I, I don't have any money. Sorry, excuse me. We're getting pressed for cash right off the bat. How did we pay for the meat bun? Oh, that's the Amaterasu dickheads. Okay. So where's this guy pushing the book that I'm looking for? I'm gonna be here for an hour looking for this guy. This was the stiff woman. I remember that. Huh. Let's check up here. Book. Book. Oh, sorry, we're not open yet. This is... This book seems to be made of waterproof material. That's probably true for a lot of stuff produced in Kanai Ward. Some pages have been painted completely black, though I have no idea what it's saying. Ooh, maybe it's a Matarasu censorship because it was stuff critical of them. Hmm. That's a potentiality. So, what the fuck? Where's this dude with the book? I don't know, like, I followed the guy's directions exactly, and it's not... Wait, hold on a minute. Are you him? Book-loving man. I think it's the guy. I think we found the guy. Ah, that new book comes out today, doesn't it? I'll have to pick it up after work. Now that I think about it, the bookstore owner said he had the older edition, too. Maybe I'll get both. Speaking of which... Oh, right. Vivi asked me to buy a book for him earlier. Yeah. Maybe I should ask this guy about it. Seems like he might know a lot about books. Excuse me? I'm looking for an unusual book. Oh, you like books too? In that case, you should get yourself to the Kamasaki District Bookstore. They have books from all over the world there. It's anyone's guess how they get their hands on them. Oh! That sounds amazing. The store's at the top of the stairs, just up ahead. If you're looking for a book, that's the place to check. Thank you very much. Got it. Thank you. Alright, so let's go back up and talk to the book proprietor now. Maybe we can get that book for Vivia while we're there. Oh, I was gonna say, what the fuck? The guy disappeared. You, over there, looking to buy something? I deliver too, help me out here. Huh? Huh? I deal in all kinds of goods. Sales have been slow lately, so why not buy something? Uh-oh, how are you going to get out of this one? <laughs> Actually, I don't have much money. Just take a look. That don't cost a thing. Come on, just one look. I got food, daily necessities, and loads of books. Hmm? Books? Speaking of which... Come to think of it, wasn't Vivia looking for a book? Looking for a book, huh? What's it called? Uh... Uh... What's that title again? Hey, I got that one in stock. Nice taste you got there. This one's a real cult classic. Huh? Really? Yeah, it's a good one, but not too popular. Been having trouble moving it. Gonna take one off my hands. Then... Yes, please. I'd like it to be delivered to the person sleeping under the piano at the hotel. Hmm? Under the piano at the hotel? Well, whatever. So I just gotta get the money from him? Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Yes. Guess that means I've fulfilled Vivia's request. Not yet, Master. You have to make sure the book reaches its destination. That's true. You're right. Let's go check with Vivia. I want to know where the fuck Halara is at. I need to find her. She is my waifu. I need her. Oh, so badly. I guess Vivia is good, too. Just wait until you guys hear Vivia. I swear to God. This way. Okay, Yuma. Well, just take me to the hotel, then. Oh wait, that's right, it's around the corner from the guy at the bar. Wait, hold on. Oh! 
Looks like all the rainwater from this district drains here. Aww. Why don't they let it drain into the river instead of the city? Jeez, whoever designed this must be pretty dense. You sent him on a side quest? Yeah. What's up, man? I haven't seen you in ages, dude. What's going on? Good to see you. We are playing Master Detective Archive Ring Code. From the twisted mastermind behind Danganronpa. This game is fucking incredible so far. It has immense vibes. Hey. Hey there, Yuma. A shopkeeper just came by with the book. You're amazing. You're the one who sent him, right? Thanks. Well? Yes, did you read it already? Hmm. Yeah, it was wonderful. That's nice. What it means to be a crow flying through the air would be amazing. Right. I wonder if I could live free, like a crow, to soar through the sky. Boundlessly. No. J just don't jump off a building or anything, okay? Mm. Right. I was considering it. Seems the book has had an impact on me. That's nice. Well, it looks like you're gonna have an impact on the pavement if you jump off a building. Truly a wonderful read. Thank you, Yuma. A lot of work, but finally got my life together? Oh, that's awesome to hear, dude. I'm glad things have gone well for you. So that just gave us a hundred points. So that is worth ten observations in the overworld. So let me check the map one more time. I need to figure out where Holera is. So it's saying that the marker is here, so this must be a transitory marker. Nail man, the culprit behind something something something. Oh, I see. We had to do that. So that was an introductory to the request hey, mechanic. Did you hear about the but it was scripted to do. District? I see. I have you watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Again. No, I have not. Yeah, I've heard about the it. Was already caught. There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. No way! The nail man was caught. What did he look like? Nail man. They mentioned a The case. nail man was already caught. So what's the deal with the name of the chapter, then? Or are we investigating the killings? Yeah, we gotta find Halara. I think of you when Sukuna is on the screen, because of the hard carries on that Ryoman Sukuna boss in Neo 2. Oh, Angel, my Neo days are long past. I've far outdone my prime. I am done with Neo, I think. I'm washed up. This game are you playing seems cool also. Never played something like this. It is a neon noir murder mystery. And we are within the depths of the rainy district of Kanai Ward. A city of never-ending rain. This game is fucking amazing. It's incredible. I love it. A lot. The high-class commercial area of Kanai Ward. There are cafes and restaurants, as well as a large art gallery and clock tower. Hey, Brady. Welcome to Raincode. 